Welcome to another Lumion live stream tutorial. This is Chris Welton from C. Welton Design. And in this tutorial, I'm going to go over something really basic but so important. Getting the exact color value into your materials in Lumion. Now, color is everything in materials and architecture, depending on the situation. It's definitely something I work with a lot. And long time ago I found out how to get exact values into Lumion and although there's a simple little way now I'm going to share I'm gonna go over the two methods of bringing any color you can find online or or wherever you're given and getting that to be accurately represented into Lumion onto any material now jumping right here into a Lumion scene here we have lots of materials to work with and so I'm gonna go ahead and just select this material right here and just quickly uh, talk about where we introduce color in general and it's this colorization which is really like a tint and once you start to touch this this little pop out comes out and uh, right now it's set to black but you can see all the colors here I'm sure you've seen it before this is how we let's turn this up this is how we control and pick our colors now I could say video over, we did it. We found out how to colorize things. But I'm gonna talk about how to get exact colors in here because really there's millions, there's millions of colors set up inside of here. And oftentimes we need to, to represent it and get as close as possible. So in order to do that, on the side here we're seeing RGB values, which are the common, the most common, you know, uh, digital ways of uh, of sharing colors. There's a lot of other ways. There's CMYK for printing, and and there's another one that we're going to utilize that that Lumion utilizes called hex. Now, in order to get an exact value in here, we can't do an RGB value. We have to actually copy and paste a hex value into here. And once we hit Control V in here it will jump to the exact color we want. So how do we do that? The easiest way? That's what I've been kind of looking for. I used, I'm used to using Photoshop where there's a, you can use the, uh, the eyedropper tool and it'll give you a sample of, of RGB hex value from any image. Um, but what I really like too is um, just something like in SketchUp here. When you go to a material here, you can do pick on screen, any color, like I just can pick this blue right here and it'll change to that. Man, I, I wish Lumion just had something like that. Maybe in the future they'll add something like this, I hope they do. But I'm gonna find, I'm gonna share with you maybe the next best simple way of getting this in here. So jumping on online right here, I found this tool. It's free, it's simple, it's called Instant Eyedropper. Uh, I'll give you a, a link to this website here. It's not going to give you any viruses or anything. It's very simple. When you go ahead and download this, down here in Windows, it'll pop up right here. And just, this is as simple as it can be. Once you start holding a click down, it's starting to sample all of the colors here. And those values you're seeing right here is actually, that's the hex color that we need for Lumion. This is what Lumion speaks. It doesn't speak RGB, it speaks hex, I guess. Uh, um, it's as long as I've, I've used it, that's just well, how you get it in there. So don't worry too much about all those numbers because what happens when you've picked the color, say we're going to stick with this green right here. Once you let go, that 6FA23B number is saved to it's basically copied to the clipboard and you hit control V and there it is but in this case we're going to go into here and hit control V and there's that green now colors are color rendering is is a deep topic there's so many other things that go into this you can put the exact values of something you find online into here and it could look still dramatically different depending on lighting this is something I always struggle with but to get that source color in here 
This is one of the best ways to do it. I want to have colorization all the way up. But this is a metal, so I have metallic things going on, which throw things off. The glossiness can throw the color off slightly by how the sun hits it, and however the sun settings are. Anyways, that's how you get the exact color into here. Um, let's try another practical example here. I'm going to go back. So here's uh, Benjamin Moore's website. They do, they're a big uh, paint manufacturer. There's tons of other options out there. I've, this is just a good sample here. Say your client has a very specific shade of orange or yellow that they need, and they've given you right here the semolina color. This is what they want on their wall. It can't be anything different. They picked out this color. So in our case here, we can utilize that software I showed you right here uh, by holding it here and selecting that right there. We've got it selected. Jump over to Lumion and paste it in. And there's that color. I'm going to just make this not metallic for this sake right here. But now that color is in there, um, we can compare it side by side here. I mean, again, it's complex, but that's pretty close. You know, we do something dr dr drastic right here, drastic difference. Hold that there. Pretty close. That's pretty fast. This this is big for me. Um, it used to be an even clunkier process. I hope this makes this a little easier for you guys playing with it. Um, so another thing I want to talk about too, if for whatever sake you you specifically only get an RGB value, you could always RGB to hex in Google. And I mean, even Google has something built in here. Um, say you know the exact RGB value of uh, 120, 20, and 70. I uh, did not, did not read that. But okay, say it was this this RGB value right here. This is giving us a hex code right here, and we can just copy and paste that right there, or just find some one of these websites that'll do it exactly. One thing I I had issues with when I first did this is I didn't know what hex was at all, so I would copy the, the, the number sign, the hashtag, pound, symbol, whatever you call that now. I would copy that too. That doesn't work. You just got to get the numbers. Lumia only wants the numbers. So we can copy that and paste it into there. So I think we got that pretty well set up. Another thing, if you're just looking for colors in general, Pantone is, a, is kind of an industry standard for colors. And what's really cool is you, you, you pick a color you like from Pantone and it has the hex value right there. So copy paste. So that is the brute force way of bringing in colors to tint any of our materials in Lumion. Um, a couple of things here too. This is very useful for grabbing any sort of materials you have here. I have a colorization tab. We can colorize everything, including uh, water, or so many special materials we have here. So there's the RGB. It's the same thing. That's lovely. <laughs> Let's pretend we didn't do that. Um, you know, from glass that has these same sliders, it all works. Just keep that in mind. Even if you have a Lumion material already set up that you really like, it all works the same here. This is the after the fact way of doing it. Because method number two is much easier. Well, at least from the start. Um, one little minor thing too, I forgot to mention on this tool. Make sure that it is set to HTML. Even though there's a hex, hex, hex here, set it to HTML. That's what I found works. So, the other method of bringing colors accurately into Lumion is using SketchUp itself, or sorry, not only SketchUp, any of your 3D modeling softwares themselves to just pick the color you want right there. 
whatever color value this is coming in and tinted at here there's RGB here those values I happen to have this model here this little wall is being live synced right now inside of here it's like a surprise it's actually it's just sitting um, should be there it is it's sitting right here on the ground so, you know surprise you all okay so I'm gonna do this awkward thing with the screens just so we can see both of this happening in real time so right now this is the default material the imported material it, it, there's been nothing assigned to it and it'll just follow the, any color we have set up here I'm gonna turn off the camera here so any color we set up in here will automatically be synced in here exactly now if you want to go further and you want to apply a material here and add any other extra detailing here um, did not quite do a let me let me go back I think we lost we resynced this I confused it okay so we want that blue but we don't want it to just be an imported material we want to be able to add custom uh, parameters to it as a standard material so that value is already translated into here so we could even add a texture map um, let's I'm gonna add a quick texture here didn't know it's gonna go into material mode here um, Let me just grab a stone material here. Give it a second. Oh, okay. So, we can bring that scale back up, and we still have that tinted color. So, say we wanted that stone but we want to tint it the same color we got from SketchUp that we were able to pick from here or assign through all of SketchUp's or whatever 3D modeling software we had it's color picker that's how we could start so essentially if you want to have specific values in Lumion the easiest way to do it is just set it up in your rent your modeling software have it set as in here and you won't have to do any of the hex code stuff it'll just come in already ready to go but in case you're already past that point or you have a material that you've added you have both ways now so I thought this would be pretty quick and simple and fast but there's, there's a lot to explain in here um, so that about covers it though colors and this left my scene pretty interesting looking here Colors are extremely important, color accuracy. Lumion's given us the path to get these colors accurately represented in here. It's just a, it's just a little tricky one. And I imagine in the future they'll, they'll, they'll go through and redo some of these things. This might get easier. But I'm glad I found that little tool there to make an easy hex code to uh, hex code grabber from the screen onto Lumion that I'm going to be using that from now on so that covers it here um, thanks for watching guys um, feel free to leave any comments subscribe for more content like this and until next time guys thanks for watching